Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set dimensions in your Figma design so you can make sure all of your designs are accurate. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So what we can actually do here is go up to the top left hand side. You're going to look for the region tools. Here you can use the frame tool. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to click down and drag and we want to create a frame. Let's say we're going to create it this size. Now, if you want to be a little bit more specific with the dimensions, you can go over to the right hand side and you can change the dimensions over here. The W stands for width and the H stands for height. So let's make this 350 and let's make this 700. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And let's say we want to create another one that looks exactly like this. Now, if we click on it and right click, we can say copy and right click over here in this open space and we can say paste here. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can place it accordingly to how you need it. And if you click down on an object and you hold in alt on your keyboard, you can actually see the distance it is to the next object. So let's say that you have more than one and let's say they're unevenly placed. You can now hold in alt and see, okay, that's 58 to there, 48 to the bottom and to this way, it's 101 and 25 up. Okay, so now you can actually place this accordingly. Okay, so let's, let's do that. Again, we're going to select the middle one. You can see it's 86 pixels away and here it's 107 pixels. So we can change that now so that it's equal. Another thing that you want to maybe do when working on your project is go up to the top left hand side into the Figma main menu icon and go down to view. And here you will find a rulers tab. As you can see over here, we can bring down a ruler here. Let's say we want to mark it over here. And from this side, we want to go ahead and we want to mark it over there. Now, of course, this is inaccurate, but you can actually go ahead and you can just play with exactly where you would like those marks to be. You can do the same over here. And uh, that's pretty much the easiest way to go ahead and measure accurately on Figma.